what do you want to do on a perfect weekend other than kind of play golf? And I haven't had the I'm chance. I'm not old to. enough to golf yet. That's you're not. You know, I'll do you need you a know. card or something? You need an ID? Yeah. I do, as a matter of fact. <laughs> well, we welcome in a, a, a freshman. We've, we've been talking to all you know, the veterans. We welcome in a freshman, Christine Silent from BU All Christine, Access. Nice, Hi, meeting nice you. to meet you. Thanks so much for joining us here on BU All Access. How are you? I'm good. How are you guys? Good. Well, well. I, I, we just started by talking about the weather. I mean, can you ask for better, better days to I be know. out on the uh, course right now? We've been so lucky lately. No cold weather, no strong wind, so we're, we're happy so far. It, it's been absolutely terrific, and uh, obviously you guys have – gotten the chance to play the last two weekends at the uh, the Dartmouth Invitational and then last weekend at the Mount Holyoke yeah. and for you personally a uh, a great a great finish at the Mount Holyoke finishing 25th two spots behind uh, Anna Johnson who led the way for the Terriers with 23rd uh, what happened last weekend was it just a good course for you I loved the course it's <laughs> more of like a traditional layout Dartmouth was very hilly and very like compact but I loved uh, Mount Holyoke's course and it just came together really well for yeah. my game I wasn't too pressured by like the first tournament jitters, so it was good. And I get along so well with the team, and they're really supportive. So we just had a good, good two days. I'm glad you talked about you know first game jitters. Was that what you felt at Dartmouth as well as yeah. the course being a little different? I definitely felt the pressure of being a freshman <laughs> in the first tournament and expectations and everything like that. But my coach and um, my teammates were great. Like no expectations, no pressure. So I'll, first tournament's over, so the rest of the season's ahead. Now, for the two days, after day one, you guys were in seventh, and then by the end, you finished in ninth. What happened to that second day? I mean, I thought it was usually the opposite way, where you kind of, <laughs> you learn the course a little bit yeah. for that second game. Uh, how would you, or second day, how would you describe the second one? Um, well, we actually had a little bit of a mix-up with tee times and everything like that, but um, I don't know. I guess we just didn't have our, all of our games together. Like, mm -hmm. all of us were pretty consistent on the first day. Second day, there was a few scores that jumped around a little bit, so I guess we just didn't all of our game together the second day, unfortunately. You know, a number of the uh, the members that play in the, the Northeast sport like golf, they come from warm weather climbs, but not exactly from a warm, <laughs> yeah. warm weather climb coming from Jersey. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. A little bit more of a challenge in terms of uh, what you did and preparation coming up through high school ranks and so forth? Um, not really. I mean, Boston's not that much north of New Jersey, so I'm not too worried about the weather climate. But, yeah, I'm definitely used you're, to... You're used to braving the oh elements. Oh, yes. <laughs> Lots of Under Armour and wind pants and everything. We got it. <laughs> well, golf is a game of numbers. You guys have six players on your roster. And I'm just curious, is this, for you personally, does this kind of help you where it's, you know, more focus on when you guys go to practice and everything like that? Is it almost, uh, you know, better for your training when there's, you know, less for less people to, to deal with basically. Yeah, um, we're definitely a close knit group and our coach is able to spend more time with us like yep. individually since there's not a lot of people on the team. But usually for golf teams, like the most you would have is like eight or nine. So six is a perfect number because then you can only like travel five to six either way. So it's great. I like it a lot. And now you get to go home basically this yeah. weekend <laughs> and to play at the uh, ECAC championships in Egg Harbor, New Jersey. I'm guessing you've played this course before? I've actually never played no. it before. Oh, wow. Yeah, I know a lot of people were sort of counting I, I on right. me giving the They were all there. looking to yeah. you, <laughs> looking for tips on how to play it. And you know, I haven't played here either. No, it didn't really work out that way. Yeah. But um, yeah, the course is beautiful, beautiful yep. layout, a lot of fescue and sand, but I think we'll be fine. We're all really excited to play. We've never played the ECAC before. So we're all very excited about it. Well, as a freshman, I mean, we, we expect leaps and bounds of improvement <laughs> every week. What have you been working on this week to try to just get ready for the ECAC championships? A lot of short game, mm -hmm. and the biggest thing for me is distance. I'm a pretty small person, so I'm definitely, <laughs> like, putting enough time in at the gym and everything like that. So I'm excited to see how, like, much more distance I can gain because we have lifts a lot and workouts. So it's probably distance and short game are my two biggest things I want to work on. How would you compare? I mean, you've only been able to basically see pictures of this course compared to the ones you've played on so far yeah. in your BU career. Um, this one seems pretty challenging. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're most of the courses that we played are very traditional. This has a little bit more of a lynx atmosphere, like a lot of fescue, sand bunkers. There's a lot of water, so there's definitely a lot of trouble. But I think we're we're ready for it. I think. We well, that's coming set. up this weekend. But one thing I wanted to talk about before I let you go, which I think is interesting, and I want to kind of curious to see how it relates across the country is you were the only girl on your high school varsity team is that just is that kind of common especially for for girls who end up playing at the college level uh to be because do most high school teams have a women's golf team um not really i mean when i played i only played probably against two girls yeah. through my entire high school career so usually there's not a lot of girls teams because 
I mean, women's golf isn't very popular yet. It's starting to grow, but little by little. So I've definitely grown accustomed to just playing with guys all the time. Yep. I've never really, I've never been on a girls team. I only compete with them when I did junior tournaments. So this is definitely new to be on a girls team, and I love it. So it's good. It, is it also new to be doing the off? course strength and conditioning is that something new for you yeah I've never really worked with a personal trainer just for golf and everything like that but I was looking forward to it so much because I love working out and I'm really getting excited about gaining distance and muscle and everything like that so we're enjoying the 6 30 a.m. lifts so it's great <laughs> Bernie don't you do 6 30 a.m. gym times no uh, not anymore a.m. or p.m. <laughs> 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 it's whenever you get done with I'm, BU All Access I'm lifting it's usually right. p.m. <laughs> well Christine thanks so much for thanks joining for us good luck me. this weekend enjoy being close to home at thank least thank you that's Christine Silent joining us here nice on you. BU nice All Access you. as the women's golf team a great weekend getaway. You get to go to Jersey and play Egg golf Harbor, for two days. Yeah. Very nice country. Yeah. Well, Bernie and I are both at the Terriers. will be competing in the ECAC championships coming up this starting on Sunday and going through to Monday.